Soho House and Mr. Porter present House Style. Episode 3, Springtime in Berlin. In keeping with the East meets West vibe of Berlin, we recommend embracing a high-low approach to style this spring. Here are three ways to do just that. One, the sport sandal is back. Fashion works in mysterious ways. Take one of Germany's most famous exports, the Birkenstock sandal. When an item of clothing has hit rock bottom in the trend stakes, as the Birkenstock sandal had just a few years ago, it attracts the attention of intrepid fashionistas, who see an opportunity to wear it in an ironic way. If this new trend survives its incubation period, then there's a chance it'll get noticed by a forward-thinking fashion house, such as the highly influential Celine, which embraced the Birkenstock style in 2012, creating its own fur-lined version. Fast forward to 2013, and the humble leather and cork sandal, only a few years ago the preserve of science teachers and aging hippies, was suddenly the must-have shoe of the year. By which time, of course, the trendsetters responsible for the whole shebang had long since moved on. But to where? What is this season's once embarrassing, now achingly cool Germanic utility shoe? Step forward, the sport sandal. It's got the nod of approval from all sorts of high-profile designers this season. And done properly, it's a triumph of form and function. Two, sportswear gets smart. Fashion designers have been borrowing ideas from sport for years. But this spring, the line between those two worlds becomes even more blurred. Think tailoring made out of Jersey sweatshirt material and classic sporty pieces like the varsity jacket and sweatpants reinvented in cashmere and leather. It goes without saying that these clothes are not for the gym. Three, as seen in line at Berghain. Few things illustrate the changing face of Berlin better than the queue snaking out of the city's most exclusive techno club. If you'd paid a visit to Berghain 10 years ago, and you weren't wearing mostly leather, chances are you'd have been in the minority. What a difference a decade makes. You're now just as likely to encounter penny loafers and chinos as you are biker boots and leather trousers. Although which of these two extremes the bouncers prefer remains a matter of great debate. Our advice? In style, as in politics, it's wise to aim for the middle ground. And don't be too upset if we don't get let in. You can always come back to Soho House. Our door is always open. But please, not dress like that. <laughs>